there are two primary ways that our subconscious receives information. The first way is through repetition. Repetition through time. Second way, I'll maybe do a second video on it. Some of this isn't going to be new to you guys. So when I'm, I'm practicing a technique, one of the best ways to get good at the technique is you practice the technique, which is repetition over and over and over through time. I think that's the thing, the repetition through time, which is what's so important because here's the thing. So in the beginning with repetition, very little of it will make its way into your subconscious because your subconscious requires repetition through time. Not repetition for a day, not repetition for two days, or maybe even a week, depending on the technique, but it's repetition through time. When you do that, it's like critical mass is built, and then it starts to be received by your subconscious. Now, here's what's really interesting about this, as I was training today, is there was pieces of my technique that I didn't have to consciously think about. So when I'm training and learning something new, I'm consciously choosing to do it over and over and over again. And then I'm correcting what I need to correct. And I'm focusing in on what I got right in the technique over and over and over and over and over again through time. And then there's some point in time. So it is really like it's, it's this critical mass. And then all of a sudden there's enough sort of energy that's accumulated that it sinks into your subconscious. Now, as soon as it does that, now you don't have to consciously think about it anymore. We do this all the time when we're learning something new, don't we? In the beginning, you're focused on this, and do I do this, and do I do that, and do I do this, and, and, and do I do this, and when do I do this, and how do I do this? And, and have you ever noticed this? You'll do this, and then it seems like just like that, all of a sudden, you go to do it, and it just kind of happens. And you almost don't have to consciously think about it, or at the very least, not as much. This is why in anything, whether it is kickboxing, or whether there's anything in your spiritual practice, it's no different. It's going to take repetition through time for that to sort of be marinated into your subconscious, which is the much greater part of your mind, to use that word as a container word. And then it's your subconscious that is carrying out the actions, not your conscious mind. You see, your conscious mind is where you decide. It's where you make choices. Not maybe just once, but it's those consistent Choices. This is where discipline comes into play. It's those consistent choices of, of what am I going to do? And I'm getting into this. How am I going to think? What am I consistently choosing to focus on? Whether it's a physical activity, whether it's a non-physical or a thinking activity, because the same thing applies with our thoughts. What are the thoughts that you consistently focus on through time? This is one of the things in the whole manifesting movement. Sometimes folks will go, oh my God, I thought a, a negative thought, right? I thought a thought that's contrary to my desires. I've screwed the whole thing up. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh God. But you see, it's not the one time. It's the consistent thoughts, the repetitious thoughts through time. See, and this is where you have the power because it's your conscious mind, right? You can choose. You can choose which thoughts consistently I am going to focus on, just like when I'm practicing a new technique. What are the pieces that I did? I'm going to say right. I'm going to focus on those. What are the pieces that I didn't do right? Okay, I'm going to learn from those. I'm going to change them up, and then I'm just going to keep going. The same thing applies with your thoughts. What thoughts are you consistently choosing to focus on? Not the errant ones here, errant ones there, this, 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 but the consistency of your thoughts through time. And it's the same thing. It hits that critical mass of energy and then your subconscious receives it kind of in one fell swoop. And now those thoughts, just like when I throw a kick, 
For instance, you need to turn your 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 foot, your kind of your stabilizing foot when you throw a kick. You need to turn it a certain way. In the beginning, I have to consciously think about it. Am I turning it, turning it? Turning? Oh, shoot. No, I didn't, right? Now I don't. When I throw the kick, I don't even have to think about what my foot's doing because it's turning. But what's doing that is your subconscious mind. It's my subconscious mind that's turning my foot. It's not magically happening. My mind is still doing it. It's the subconscious portion that's doing it, so I don't have to think about it anymore. See, this is where a spiritual warrior understands. And I've talked about this before. There's the physical, yeah, but there's also the non-physical. There's the thoughts. It's how you manage the thoughts in your mind. And I'm going to finish with this. At the end of each workout, I take, I don't know, five minutes, maybe ten minutes, and I just kind of settle into my training space. And I just close my eyes and I meditate. So, so what am I doing when I'm doing that? What I'm doing is I'm playing over in my mind the workout. I'm playing over each technique that I did. I'm playing over and sort of observing combinations that I did. If there's one that I screwed up, what will I do? I'll change it. In my mind, when I'm playing them out, I will change it. I will correct it in my mind. And because in that moment, my body's relaxed, my mind's relaxed, nice conscious breathing, I'm actually doing a practice and training that's just as effective in many ways as the actual physical training itself. I'm taking that moment to play back using the non-physical, using our thoughts, which are just as powerful as these, right? I'm playing that out. Now, how can you use this? Do the same thing. At the end of the day, take that five minutes, that 10 minutes, calm as yourself as much as you can. I realize sometimes it's more better than others and play out the day in your mind. Not to berate yourself, not to judge yourself, not to point fingers at anybody else, but to simply play the events out. The ones that really fit, you go, yeah, that was, that was a good one. Then just play that out some more. The ones that maybe don't, change them. Change them. Rewrite them. Because what are you doing? You are choosing the consistency of your thoughts, and that is all adding and building towards that critical mass energy that then it will sink down into your subconscious and then those processes, those thought processes, and then the actions will start to play automatically. You see, your conscious mind is where you make choices. Your subconscious mind is where the power is.